Now an inside look at a place where championships are commonplace. Boston Garden, as seen through the eyes of its most celebrated visitors. North Station, next stop, North Station. A new NBA record has been set in the Boston Garden. If you look at it on TV, it's the most beautiful place you've ever seen. But when you walk up in there, <laughs> it's, it's probably not what you expect. It was old, raggedy. Um, nothing seemed to work but on the Celtic side. <laughs> and, you know, you go in and you know, Red's got the heat on one day and, you know, second half is freezing you out. You know, you go back into the locker room. You, you leave the locker room, you're burning up. You go out there and play, you play a good half. When you come back in, all the windows are open, the heat's turned off, and it's freezing in the middle of January. So did the building do it, or did somebody in the building do it? Back out the DJ, DJ throws on the sky! It has a life of its own. It's a mystique of its own. And you join that when you go in and you play there. Got it. 63 for Jordan. I don't believe it. We've got a third overtime in a Boston Garden. You know, you hate to see it go. Um, but if I was playing today, I would love to see it go. <laughs> and it's picked off. Goes to Henderson. He lays it off and out. It's all tied up. stop playing what do you miss most about playing and I say I don't miss the road I don't miss uh, the travel and all that but one thing I do miss is big games and that means I miss Boston Garden all right out of your seat and on your feet